highlight of my time here has definitely been preparing for the Christmas holidays, all the baking they do. So I've done a lot of baking with the uh, baking the traditional medovniki and some of the other sweets they have. Slovakia is very, very crazy about their baking, so that's something I've loved uh, doing. And a Slovak word that will always stick with me is uh, chuchorietka. <laughs> My vocational school is mostly boys, and I have an interesting story. The first day, I told them, you can ask me anything. Just get to know me and practice your English. First two questions. What is your cell phone number, and what are you doing tonight? I had no idea how to react, but I've learned over time. This is a photo from the ski trip where the students attacked their favorite teacher. It's silly, but chuchorietka, which means blueberry, because every single class I went to, they tried to get me to say it in Slovak. So. Um, for example, some of them are studying to become electricians or electrical engineers. Some of them are studying computer science, and some are doing like wood carving and carpentry. And it's really great to see how close they are to each other and to their field. The parni and neparni. Right, like odd and even. Um, for the two different weeks at our school, we have an odd week and an even week. I was placed at an architecture school and my undergraduate studies were in sculpture. So there's a little bit of crossover there where I can engage students in an area that they're already interested in so that they can apply the English language creatively to, to really grow their skill. The Slovak word that will stick with me is possibly pivo or kavu. Um, one of the highlights of my Fulbright experience is this was the first time I had a real winter and got to see snow. Um, growing up near the beach and sun, it's, we obviously don't get snow, so I got to make my first snow angel and it looks something like this. <laughs> So one Slovak word that will stick with me is smrzlina because it, I love ice cream and anytime I had a chance I would get it sometimes twice in a day which isn't good but smrzlina is probably my favorite Slovak word. So it's been a challenge for me um, not speaking as much of the language and being rusty at soccer but it really has been a great way to meet people and to continue doing something I love. Um, and it's shown me a lot about the culture, having the chance to go to so many different places and meet lots of different people. The one word that will stay with me uh, from Slovakia is probably Chayovna. Uh, there's a small tea garden in Krampahi. One of the biggest highlights of my trip is getting to work with the wonderful students at the school. They all kind of present as a unit um, and they are there for each other. They have really great communication. Um, and it's just an amazing environment to work in. And one Slovak phrase that will stick with me forever uh, is Šviske Šlinaki, which means slippery snails. Um, I've been teaching students tongue twisters in English, and so they decided to teach me some of them in Slovak. Um, so I think I'll remember this one forever. Um, Juice helps me to teach my students because he provides lots of great stories that I share with them. And they love to see photos and laugh about all of the silly adventures that he has. So he keeps it interesting for them to uh, learn English in the context of stories about a dog. And my favorite word uh, in Slovak is ahoy, because I think when you say ahoy, you kind of sound like a pirate. So I really enjoy saying ahoy every morning to greet my students.